Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about some new, uh, not numeric summaries, graphical displays for categorical data. So if you remember, that's a type of descriptive statistic because it's just describing a group. So here is our first graphical display. Do you know what it's called? A bar graph. So if you remember, a bar graph is called a bar graph because it's displaying categorical data. So this is a categorical variable. It's the nicest fruit. And we have different categories within that categorical variable. So we have apple is one category within the categorical variable, orange, banana, kiwi, blueberry, and grapes. Now, one of the things about a bar graph is that this y-axis, so remember the y-axis is the vertical axis, it can represent frequencies, which remember is the number of individuals. So what's being represented is this bar graph is frequencies or the number of people who chose this as the nicest fruit. You could also have relative frequencies. So remember that's the count or frequency relative to the total. And you can also have percentages represented on this y-axis. So those are the three numeric summaries, frequency, relative frequency, and percent. And those can be represented on this y-axis here. So here we have the frequency, and you can see that the height of the bars is gonna to correspond to how many individuals are in each group. So a taller bar, more people. Shorter bar, less people. Same thing would be true if you switch to relative frequencies. These heights wouldn't change because it's still the same number of people relative to the total. Same for percentages. The heights of the bars wouldn't change. It would just be the y-axis that changed. So this is a bar graph that was created by a statistical package. This one is actually from SPSS. It now, though, you see, uses the word count. So remember that count, number, and frequency are synonyms for each other. So it's still the same data, type of data. It's still categorical data. It's still in a bar graph. It's still a numeric summary for frequency. It's just, it's called count here. So remember too, and we talked about this in a separate video, or we'll see it later, depending on the order. But here we have a bar graph, and here we have a histogram, kind of a giveaway because it says histogram. But what is the difference between the two? Do you remember or do you know? This, remember, a bar graph still has bars, but the x-axis, so this horizontal axis is categories, whereas here a histogram, the x-axis, the horizontal axis, is a number line because this is for quantitative data, this is for categorical data. So a bar graph and a histogram are not the same thing. We have a bar graph representing categorical data, which you can identify with the x-axis, and then the histogram, and it can be confusing because it has the same y-axis, but the histogram's x-axis is a number line. So that's how you know the difference between the two. So in the next video, we'll talk about pie graphs as the last form of uh, graphical display for categorical data. See you then.